I had kind of a messed up childhood. I don't like to talk about it unless there's a microphone and an audience. <laughs> and then, yeah, push comes to shove, I will. <laughs> I was raised very non-religious, thank God. And uh, I don't know how we did it. I appreciate you guys so much for laughing. It's a, it's a key part of any comedy show, you know, laughter. Even if it's at me. My dad, when I was a kid, worked for Atari, the video game company. Yeah. And people want to blame video games for problems in our society. There are people who think video games are making our kids violent. You know what? A video game is only as violent as the crazy little kid that's playing the video game. You can't blame the video game. And I know that's true because I remember what life was like before video games. We had simple toys. Remember the Fisher Price people? They had the one squiggly hair on the front and no legs. I was really violent with my Fisher Price people. Yeah, sometimes the plane crashed and that's just the way it had to be. You know, third day in a row, no survivors. Well, this airport is jinxed. <laughs> One year for Christmas, my parents bought me and my brother the Fisher Price town. And it had everything. It had a grocery store and a bakery, a little fire department with a siren. And every day something was on fire in my town. Yeah. And people died. Lives were lost. I did not care when I was eight years old. But I think back, like, I could have done anything with this toy. I could have been the town doctor, healing the sick people of the Fisher Price town, making a difference in my community. <laughs> I could have been a wealthy businessman, renting out one of the luxury apartments in the Fisher Price town. I have regrets. <laughs> I never even played with the bakery. <laughs> Unless the bakery was on fire, and then, yeah. I was like, can't somebody bake a pie without setting my whole town on fire? I'm trying to run a town. My mom would come in, she's like, if you don't stop playing with that, I don't know why I made my mom gay in this joke. She's like, hey, if you don't stop playing with that toy and get in here and eat dinner. I was like, whoa, 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 playing? Is that what it looks like that I'm doing? You're the one who said, leave mommy alone, use your imagination. Well, this is what it's come to. <laughs> I have to call all of their families now. Are you happy? <laughs> These are difficult phone calls for a kindergartner to make. And I don't think your taco pizza is gonna fix this situation. <laughs> Doreen. <laughs> good day to you. I said good day.